Who is responsible for the pandemic? Who are we going to blame when a pandemic begins? Is it going to be the World Health Organization that is debating now whether to announce the current Ebola crisis as the worst the world has seen? Do we blame the airline company or the local bus company for bringing the sick person into our community who infected many of us and caused death to our friends and family? Are we going to blame our current administration or Congress? The US government and governments around the world have allocated billions of dollars to study a warming climate, but little has been done to mitigate or prevent an impending pandemic that Bill Gates warned all of us about several years ago. This is our next war, and we will all suffer long before the climate warms significantly if we don't prepare to defeat the pandemic and use the tools that we must prevent, or at least mitigate, its potential. Health care facilities can only react to a pandemic. We need to tell the Congress and the current administration that we must begin formulating a plan using the latest technology with the 4P initialism of prepare, prevent pandemic potentials. To implement, prepare, prevent pandemic potentials, we must look to the Achilles heel of our society and how diseases spread so rapidly. Global public transportation, in 2017, carried 53 billion passengers for an increase of 9 billion in the last five years. In the US, the American Public Transportation Association says passengers averaged 38 million per week or 10.1 billion in 2017. At a 2% infection rate, Americans would get sick at almost 4 million per week or 40 million in just 10 weeks. Health care facilities would be overwhelmed. All forms of PT move people in tight quarters locally and around the world in times short enough for viral incubation without detection or symptoms. Analysis of the commercial airliner that brought the SARS passenger to Canada in 2003 showed that people in five of the seven separate plane airflow sections became infected during the flight. To make matters worse, the United States Air Force, in a weapon of mass destruction study, showed that HEPA filters do not effectively capture very tiny live viral particles. They begin to pass viruses immediately when exposed to incident viral exposure. The only tool that is destructive enough, fast enough, and easiest to commercialize is the Excimer Wave Sterile Ray EWS, Long Life Lamps. These have been demonstrated to have single-pass kill capability achieving destruction of over 10,000 viral particles in one-eighth of a second as the air passes by the lamp. This wavelength is shown to rupture the sidewall of bacteria and segment spores as well. One lamp in a room canister will prevent all the occupants from inhaling enough measles virus from an infected person because of its kill-on-the-fly capability. Similarly, lamps in the ventilation system of all PT vehicles will provide the maximum degree of protection to all riders and is the only proactive means for reducing airborne bacteria and viruses as they are introduced into the air by human exhaling. It will take time to get this new technology installed, but if we don't start soon, we will all suffer greatly in 5 to 10 years. We speak from our heart because we all are in the crosshairs of the greatest pandemic to hit our world. Please watch Bill Gates' pandemic videos on YouTube. You can view this complete article and the cited references on SterileRay.com.